वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल दिस वीडियो इज ए काइंड ऑफ ए फॉलो अप ऑफ माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वेर बेसिकली आई हैव बिल्ट ए कानबान बोर्ड यूजिंग व्यू जेस इन दिस वीडियो वट विल डू इज लाइक विल बी कन्वर्टिंग दिस कानबान बोर्ड विच इज ए वेब एप्लीकेशन टू ए डेस्कटॉप एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन इलेक्ट्रॉन वाइट फॉर दैट आई बी यूजिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन वाइट एंड बिफोर गेटिंग स्टार्ट विद इट दिस वीडियो इज मोर ऑफ यू कैन से इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ टू लेट यू नो हाउ यू कैन कन्वर्ट एनी ऑफ योर वेब एप्लीकेशन टू इलेक्ट्रॉन But if you would like to deep dive on Kanban board itself, then I would suggest to check out my previous video. And this video is more about uh, just the tooling, etc. So now we can we can get started now. I guess we do come to the uh, the electron wide documentation. Come to get started. Come to installation. Uh, scaffolding basically will do it. Let me copy this line. Come here and just paste it. I'll be giving it a name of Kanban Desktop App View. I'll be using Vue.js. I'll be using TypeScript. I'll not be installing Updater plugin. No, and that's it. Uh, sorry about that. I went to wrong folder. Now let me first of all install it. The dependencies. Uh, first of all, if you're if you're not at all familiar with Electron, I would suggest to check out an uh, another video series which I have where basically I'm creating a calculated desktop app using Electron and White for all the three like for React, Vue as well as Vanilla JavaScript. I would suggest you check that out because I'm not planning to go much deep onto Electron also. This it video is again more of a um, guide for you to follow if you're planning to maybe convert web application to a desktop application other than that i would highly suggest you to if you're planning to basically create a desktop application from the get go then just uh, come here and just follow along this guide uh, it will make your life mo more easy the installation has happened let me now do npm run dev to show it to you what original it has and later on i'll just copy most of the source file from my uh, web application of kanban code Let it open itself. As you can see, we have this application. We have a lot of stuff here. But anyway, this was the basic application which you get when you uh, use the scaffolding. Now what I'll do is like I'll just copy paste most of the code which I already have written for Kanban board itself and just come back. I basically went ahead and copy pasted most of the code which I have already written for the Kanban application. Just to show it to you, if you have followed my previous video, here uh, there are places where I've used the adder rate of resolve uh, basically alias there. I've basically replaced it with dot dot slash to make it easy so that we um, and I've made the change everywhere so you don't need to do that. Other than that, uh, there might be a lot of ASN issues. Uh, I had not installed ASN. In I have not followed much ASN in the previous project, so you can ignore it for now, uh, at least for this video. Anyway, you need to come back to the package of JSON and install a couple of dependencies, which was from the previous project. And I'm showing to you because whenever you uh, install a dependencies from the, uh, you can say your web application, you need to be very selective where you paste those dependencies. Because at least in the selection application. You need to install those dependencies as dev, dev dependencies because most of the UI stuff will be as part of dev dependencies. Uh, there are different ways of structuring Electron. If you had manually went about, you could have structured differently. But since we're using this Electron wide scaffolding template, we need to follow this convention itself. So I'll just remove this view, and these are the things which I just copy pasted from a previous project. And let me do npm i. This should resolve all of these minor issues, and let me close it also, and let me close this also. Post that now we need to use Tailwind. Uh, before that, let me just try to see if the application works or not. It's starting properly. Let's see about the Electron application. As you can see, we have a Kanban board. Uh, ignore the stylings for now. We can add a column to do. In submit it, we can add a task T one. 
the stylings are gone we need to add them submit and if you, even if we close it this columns they are as part of local storage so you need to you can again but uh, you can try and run it it's going to be persisted uh it takes time for some reason i'm not sure why in my laptop at least as you can see it has been persisted but if you uh, the thing is like it's currently in, inside a render process of electron but uh, if you are interested in basically storing in the user's uh, system the files uh, basically this kanban board instead of placing it in local storage which i have done in my previous web application this kanban board one as you can see the kanban store is using used local storage if you would like to store it there is something called electron store I know about it. Uh, you can check it out and just uh, use it to basically store it. You need to just come here and do some modification in the use local storage. Instead of using use local storage, you can use that. And you have to do con some configurations again in the main.js file here. You have to basically do the electron stuff of like uh, invoking and resolving, etc. I'm not going much into deep details here. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to focus more on electron and make, make more videos on electron as such. But anyway, this was more of an introduction, so I'm not focusing much on that. I'm just letting you know if you're interested, you can do that. Other than that, let us come to Tailwind now. We need to come get started. We need to come to Framework Guides, come to White, Using View. Let us copy a couple of things again. Let me copy this. Come back here, open another terminal and paste it. And let me come back and just copy these lines. Let me copy yeah, just these lines. Uh, these style.cs I've already done my in the Kanban web application code. So no need to do that. Now we need to come to tailwind.config.js. We need to paste content here. And for the content, what I have to be done is like since our code of our basically we want the stylings to happen only in the renderer part, which is here. So we need to change this path here. We need to source slash renderer post that this so that it's going to be source renderer then everything inside it it should work now let us see if it works fine or not let me refresh it or at least let me close it we start it i don't think i've missed out anything as such the dependencies are also i think good enough i guess let us see As you can see, we have the Kanban board uh, and everything works fine. Let me add one more column to show the drag and drop functionality, which is the main feature of this Kanban ap application. Let me drag it. It's working. It's working fine. Let me refresh it or let me just uh, try to delete it maybe or edit at least. We can do that, I guess. And we can add task also. T1, T1, submit. We can place it on top of each other's and that's it i guess we can delete also just to show it to you anyway this was the uh, main i think goal of this whole video to just show you how we can build it but obviously uh, you can build it also but there will be some issues because i have not uh, followed eslin rules as such much in my previous project hence that's why i'm suggesting if you're planning to have an electron desktop application from get go i would suggest you plan ahead uh, sorry if you're planning to have it in long term so i would suggest you to plan ahead so that you have all the things in place so that it's very easy for you to move back and forth uh honestly there are different ways of going about it i felt this uh electron white was the easiest way i've already went went, a, went ahead and created a playlist also previously using electron white i feel it's very easy to get started at least the different ways you can pick and choose you can do your own customization using white webpack etc but i felt this is a very good way to get started and get the benefits of electron as well as white and with the minimal threshold of entry you can say okay i think this was the end of this video i would suggest to check out those other videos also if you're interested for more and let me know in the comments if uh, you would make uh, suggest me to make more videos in electron as such or what topics you would uh, want to have those videos on anyway that's it and bye